Good evening, everyone. It has been a manic day, and I can't actually believe I'm only just starting the vlog now, considering I was supposed to start the vlog about six hours ago, but we will forget about that. As you can probably tell, I am in a different location because I'm actually in a hotel room in London so I thought I would actually pick up my camera and vlog do you know what I feel like sometimes when I come to London um by the way I've not even told you what I'm here for I'm here for a little fantastic event uh, but yeah I feel like sometimes when I come to London for events which I'll be honest it isn't often because I feel like I went through this phase of like not really going to events just being a bit like socially anxious and I don't really know what it was but I had this phase of just not going to events and you know I get offered you know a lot of opportunities to go to events and come to London but I feel like just for the longest time something was just kind of stopping me recently I came to a look fantastic event now I mean it didn't go the smoothest because I ended up losing my vote but other than that, it honestly was just the nicest event ever. I met some really lovely people and I feel like especially it's always so nice when the event is with a brand that you work so closely with and you know, you really like them. It's just nice to meet the people that you speak to via email. Like I say, mingle with other people in the industry too, because obviously I've said this before, but this job can be a little lonely working, you know, on your own at home for the majority of it. So yeah. A thing that I'm trying to do, even though it's towards the end of the year, is just start pushing myself to come to events more. So, yeah, anyway, in a roundabout way, that is my intro to this vlog. I'm in London. I've just checked into my hotel. So the reason why I have actually only just picked up the camera now, God, I look so rough, um, is because, well... It's just, it's just all been systems go to be very honest with you. I had actually two big like brand campaigns to film yesterday when I was at home. And it just meant I didn't finish work till like 11. By the time I got in bed, I was just absolutely exhausted. Honestly, I was just working from like, I think I was up at five o'clock and I didn't go to bed till 11. And my whole body is still aching from being back from Thailand. I don't know if it's a little bit of jet lag or what, but it's just, yeah, really weird. So I had a super slow morning thinking that I had so much time, like you do, check the time and was in a massive panic like oh my god i literally have like 40 minutes to get myself ready and pack and go london so yeah i ended up not packing an outfit for tonight <laughs> not packing my pajamas i forgot toothpaste toothbrush like i literally i think i just brought my makeup bag and um like just skincare that was pretty much it oh and underwear <laughs> basically i got here in a mad rush i then went and met my cousin because she actually works in london which is super exciting and i've not seen her in a while so i thought we would catch up over a nice hot chocolate and a bit of lunch so did that and then yeah it was a mad rush just going down oxford street trying to find an outfit for tonight and also just picking up the essentials and things that i forgot to bring with me so let me actually give you a little bit of a haul of what i got i've thrown an outfit together i'm not sure if i love it or what but it will do so we have just gone for an all black outfit i just feel like black is self a black fail safe i can't even speak it's fail safe for me guys and obviously with it being christmas party season i thought we'd go for a little bit of velvet long sleeve um this is just the perfect length for me as well like it's a nice midi length but it's also got this like cut out here which i really like also like the little like glitzy bit here to be fair as well um yeah i just really like it i like the plunge neckline i did quickly try it on in zara got it in a size four and it was only 35.99 which i thought was really reasonable the shoes actually cost me more. The shoes cost me more. Now, you could say, why don't you bring your own shoes? I brought gold shoes thinking I would get just a plain black dress. And I was just like, no, I can't wear gold shoes with that. I mean, I probably could. But yeah, I then saw these. And I just thought these were so cute. And these will be perfect for party season. Like, I will get so much wear out of these. So yeah, I got those to go with, which I think is real cute. And then back wise, I thought, again, we'd have a little bit of glitz. Um, and I got this from Primark. It's in Rita Aura's collection. They did have one which was in almost like a bluey colour. I was like really wishing it was in silver because I feel like a silver bag would have gone really nice. Um, but yeah, 
anyway that's my outfit i think that will do and then i also did go to primark and i got a couple of jumpers shall i quickly show you i don't have to show you all say these for a haul i'll just show you guys um i got these two jumpers they were 15 pound each um i'm in desperate need of jumpers i just really like these so this one i got in a large because i don't even think that looks that big for a large does it it's like a khaki green it's quite hard to show you in this light really like that and then i also got it in gray because i just really liked the simple style of it um i think that would just be so nice to layer under coats and things and then i also got this coat guys i've been looking for this coat everywhere and they actually had one left one left in the oxford street primark it's just this faux fur coat i've seen it all over tiktok actually um i feel like apparently it's a dupe for the zara one and people are actually saying this is nicer than the zara one this was 40 pound again from rita aura's collection i got a medium i was in between like do i get a larger medium because i wanted to size up so i can get like a jumper and stuff underneath but i sent pictures to mitchell and he was like no just get the medium the large looks way too big so yeah that's what i went with and i really really loved that and then i also picked up some pajamas because like i said i forgot pajamas and i just i need some pajamas guys and i also found these and i actually already have these in black from primark and i love them to death they're just my faves i don't know if i should have got a small but they only had a medium uh but it's fun i like them quite slouchy and um, these are so soft so soft they are actually called soft touch boyfriend set but yeah if you ever see these in primark feel them buy them thank me later you will love them i know they have a lot of the, like the fleecy pajamas in at this time of the year but personally i just find them they're nice to chill around the house and if you haven't got the heating on but they're just a little bit too warm for me i prefer these so yeah i got those and then i also just got some just more underwear a bra because mine's gone really disgusting in the washing machine cozy socks just some toothpaste some deodorant oh i also just got some lashes i might do a lash tonight i, I just felt in the mood for a little half lash oh my god did i pick up my boob tape oh <gasps> i was gonna say that's literally what i went boots for i'm thinking because this is do you know what i mean quite local i might need a bit of boob tape so that for that and then some water for the room um so the hotel i'm staying in is called i think it's called assembly london Covent garden <laughs> i'll just give you a little hotel room tour i'm not gonna lie it's a bit of a strange hotel guys don't get me wrong it's it's clean it's modern it's lovely but you know when you just i don't know like it's just i walked in there wasn't even a reception let me just let me just flip around i walked in right there wasn't even a reception I was like, am I even in the hotel? And then there literally was like this man in a cupboard with a laptop. It was so weird. I was like, do, do I check in here? And then he gave me a kit. It was really weird. And then I walked in and then just like, I, I don't really know what's going on. Be naked when I get home. And then I've got this pink bunny thing on the floor. <laughs> like, what, what do people do? Do people just come in the room? <laughs> I don't know what's going on guys but um obviously i'm only here for at night so it's lovely it's nice and cozy do you know what it's, it's a very small room but you know it's very snug and cozy i'm here for that um but this is the bathroom bathroom is really nice nice shower in there we'll enjoy that in the morning main thing i'm really happy with guys is the full length mirror look if it's a full length mirror in a hotel room i am pleased anyway i need to get ready because it is currently five o'clock the event starts at half six. I don't want to leave myself like no time. I want, do you know what I mean? Like I want to give myself a good hour and a half. I've got my laptop, which I'm really glad I brought because I wasn't going to bring it. Um, and I was just going to put some like music on the TV, but, but there's not a TV. Um, so is that, oh, that's a rail there. I mean, I have put my coat on that, but I was just looking at it like, where's that light coming from? Yeah, I'm really glad I've got my laptop. So I'm going to put some music on. I think, or maybe a YouTube video, and just start getting ready for the event. But yeah, I'm going to be a good vlogger tonight and take you along with me. So, yeah. Okay, before I quickly head on out, because I'm running late, it's 6.40, the event starts at half six, but I mean, I don't like to get to events dead on time anyway. Um, oh, I don't know if this boo tape's going to like stick as well. Maybe I should put some more in my bag. Anyway, this is the outfit. Zara dress, like I said. Zara heels, ignore the mess on the floor. Um, Primark bag, and that's it. The lighting is atrocious in here. I can't, you just can't tell if you look alright or like your makeup's 
it, yeah, it's just one of them. I also forgot my brow pencil, so we're going with natural brows tonight. Oh. Anyway, let's get ourselves to the Look Fantastic event. It is literally only, it's not even 10 o'clock and I'm back. I made a promise to myself that this time I would merely just go to the event, have a nice time, mingle and then get in bed nice and early. <laughs> Obviously accompanied by a KFC. It was the only thing they had kind of like close to me and I didn't really want to walk quite far like down the road in the pitch black. So yeah, we've gone for a KFC. I never have KFC. I'll be honest, I don't particularly like it. But I've gone for popcorn chicken, chips gravy, a cookie, corn the cob, Pepsi Max. And yeah, we're back from the event. I'm honestly shattered. I don't know if it's a jet lag or what, but yeah, I just feel absolutely knackered. So I'm so glad to be back, guys. I'm in bed, tucked up early. I felt like crap all night. Do you know when your hair and makeup's just not going right? And I got there, everyone looked stunning. I just felt like crap. So, um, but anyway, it was a really nice event. I'll show you what we've got in there shortly but yeah i'm gonna tuck in i just wanted to check in anyway um and yeah i'm gonna enjoy this morning guys from a fresh and non-hungover me which i'm so so happy about i can't even tell you how good it felt this morning to be waking up in london in my own bed obviously last time i ended up staying at georgia's hotel because i lost my phone after getting out of the uber at her hotel so we then had to like i then had to stay at hers in hope that the Uber driver, well, he said he was going to drop my phone back in the morning, but it never happened. I don't even know if I feel drew on this, but yeah, it was a whole lot of drama at the last event. So this time I was like, I'm absolutely not going out after. I'm going to be sensible. I'm going to go back to my room and... Um, yeah just just get a good night's sleep and to be honest with you there is no way i'd have physically been able to go out because oh my god i don't know if it's still jet lag or what because i have been waking up so super early since i've got back from thailand like i've been waking up at probably half four five most mornings and then i end up just getting out of bed at half five six because i'm just too awake so i feel like it might be the long days that are just yeah like just just tiring me out but it got to like half nine at the event and i just thought i I need to go like I just felt so tired I was also very hungry because I hadn't had any dinner I'd only had like a toasty all day so I ended up stopping off at KFC on the way back I mean I don't even like KFC the only thing I like from there is the rice boxes and they didn't have a rice box so I ended up getting a popcorn chicken meal like I, I don't even know what to order on KFC because I just don't eat there it was so salty it wasn't it wasn't great but look when you're hungry you're hungry so oh they did have a cookie actually I didn't even know KFC sold cookies that was quite nice um but yeah anyway I have just got ready for the day I've just shoved on what I wore yesterday I was gonna put a different coat on but you know what? I'm only getting the train back home. I'm not like staying in London today and doing anything. I was gonna go and do bits, but um, yeah, I'm just honestly, I feel so shattered. So I'm thinking I have a couple of hours to check out. It's 20 past nine now, and I'm so central with this location of the hotel. It's like an eight minute walk to Oxford Street, 10 minutes to like New Bond Street, and also there's a coffee shop I really wanna try. I think it's called Blank Street. I feel like you guys might have seen it on tiktok or whatever um i'm pretty sure my cousin told me about it i feel like she had a masher from then it was amazing and i mean i need to try this masher because i really fancy a matcha this morning so i'm thinking i might head there get myself a nice iced matcha and then i don't know where to go like down new bond street and see all the christmas lights and, and i don't know just have a little walk and maybe grab a croissant or something hmm i just feel like i want to make the most of being in london i don't want to stay around in london for like all day because i have got a heavy bag i've not even got a suitcase like this is just me to a t last minute and i have got like my little hold all bag in there but then i went primark and bought all my bits and i just i don't want to be like looking around two bags but then equally like carrying in this round it's so heavy but i feel like one bag's easier to carry than the other oh i didn't show you my look fantastic goodie bag as well so i just thought i'd quickly show you this um so so kindly got given this at the end of the night so i've got two perfumes in here one's engraved do you know what i should have got the engraved one for my mom 
I didn't even think, you know when they said like what's your name, I just said my name, but um, when I came away some of the girls were saying they got theirs engraved for like other people, which I didn't realise you could do. But anyway, I've got one there, one there, I'll probably give one to my mum. Then we've got, oh my god, my favourite, pistachio and salted caramel, this is the Brazilian bum bum brand i love that um i've never tried this but i was speaking to the drunk elephant girls at the event and they said this is amazing so really excited to try this polypeptide cream we also have the nukes like glowy oil which i had that put on me last night it's insane again i also had one engraved how cute is that oh my god i'm running out of battery no memory let me just delete something and then finally we have the ghd um bodyguard heat protect spray I'm not even showing it yet. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like a mist. And honestly, it's just it's just so good. If you need a good heat protectant, I really, really recommend this. I've repurchased this quite a few times because it's just insane. Um, and then I also got this. Oh my God, this is so cute as well. The Daisy um, Marc Jacobs. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's just Daisy by Marc Jacobs, this one. This one's quite a floral one. So this is for the floral people out there. But look how cute this mini is. And I just got LGM on it. Um, again, I should have like used my brain and got these engraved for other people instead of myself but anyway i didn't um because i don't really wear that perfume this one i prefer i don't even know if this is really my kind of jam with perfume i am quite fussy with perfumes i like more of like a i'm gonna say like a musky and masculine scent this one does smell really pretty um but yeah i'm not sure so maybe i'll gift these to people but yeah anyway that's everything i got from look fantastic and right, we need to get a move on because I am a thirsty gal. I just feel so thirsty today. I think it might be that KFC, Joe, because it was so salty. So I'm thinking, let's go and grab our matcha. And yeah, let's go and see what London's looking like. Because it just, yeah, I've just seen glimpses down Oxford Street and stuff. And it's so pretty with all the decorations. Snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Okay, I'm being brave and vlogging through London. Don't know what I'm thinking. Anyway, so I just went to that coffee shop I was telling you about, Blank Street, which I, I feel like my cousin told me about it. I'm pretty sure she did. Um, I feel like I've seen it on social media anyway. One pound, guys. One pound. I feel like it was my lucky day. So apparently they're doing a deal for today and tomorrow. One pound on all small drinks. I mean, I kind of want a medium, but for a pound, hello. This is a blueberry ice match, and I mean, you're probably thinking, why did you, why did you get a cold drink? It's freezing outside, but I just love cold drinks. Um, and I really want to try this blueberry matcha, and oh my God, it's so good. It's probably one of the best matches I think I've ever had. I feel like I can take my sunglasses off now. It was really sunny a minute ago, so it's like, oh, sun. Um, yeah, one pound drinks today and tomorrow. Unreal, how's your look? Um, I'm just walking down Oxford. I think I'm gonna go Oxford Street. I don't know. I'm just gonna have a little mooch. Just feel like, why not? Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special because I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter wonderland. Chilling by the fire as I'm trying to get your attention. Oh, I've literally just um, been in the range and I've put my shopping behind my chair. Why do I always do that? I need to actually show you. Sorry, this is very chaotic. Let me just show you what I got from the range. Oh, I saw this in the range a couple of weeks ago and I was on and on about it. I was like, do I get it, do I not? Well, the temperature's dropped and I feel like since I've been to Thailand and coming back, I feel like I'm feeling the cold so much more. So I've gone and got it, guys. It was 49 99 but I feel like it's an investment. 
uh, it is the Teddy Sherpa Electric Fro. They actually have these in the White Company, and honestly, you know the White Company. It's like triple the price, um, and they look very similar. Oh, it's like a fluffy one as well. Um, yeah, it's basically electric blanket. Oh my goodness, it actually feels so soft. I just like broke that bit so I could feel it. Yeah, I just had to get it. I've never had an electric blanket, and apparently they're a game changer, and I just feel special with this time of the year. I mean, I don't know how... Um, the word I'm trying to say like does it cost you more money to have the heating on or would it cost more money to do you know what I mean they're supposed to be quite energy saving now I don't know but I, I just quite fancy an electric blanket so I've got that got that and um yeah let's just do the mango pancake taste test guys because I'm dying to have a bite I've just messaged my mum and she's with my grandma so I think I might go and join them for a coffee or something in a minute but first I just need to sample this because I couldn't really do it straight away because I was just in the middle. Oh, you get two. Ooh. Right. Let's have a look. Let's assess the situation. This is what it looks like. Definitely not a huge, a normal pancake, but. Wow. Wow. It's unreal. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely sensational. Honestly, words are failing me right now because I don't think I've ever tasted something so nice in my life. It's basically like this really thin. I don't know, I don't personally feel like I'd call it a pancake because it doesn't really taste pancakey, but it's 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 beautiful. It's like soft and very lightweight, then there's loads of fluffy cream, bits of mango, and there's like cake in the middle. <laughs> Literally got it all wrong up. Um right, I'm rating these, I'm gonna say a nine out of ten. The reason I'm taking a mark off is because, well, to be fair, it's just probably how I was eating it. I felt like I got all the cream in one go, and then the sponge was kind of on its own at the end. And I wanted the cream with the sponge, so it might have been how I was eating it, but these are sensational. You need to try these next time you go to London. Um, you'd have saw the supermarket that I went to. Obviously, I'll have put a little clip in when I, when I pick these up. So, yeah, screenshot that. Go there. It's like a um, Chinese supermarket, I believe. Um... Y yeah, I'm lost for words. I didn't expect these to be that good. Do you only see people like raving about things on TikTok and you're like, is it just one of them TikTok hype things? But genuinely, they were delicious. But I mean, I do really love pancakes, mango and cream, so, and sponge and cake. Like, it's an amazing combination. So, right, anyway, I am now gonna go and quickly meet my grandma and mum because I haven't seen my grandma in weeks. Obviously, I've been on holiday and I've just been so busy since I got back. So I've not yet caught up with her yet. So I thought, right, it's kind of like a bit of a lost day anyway now. It's two o'clock. And obviously the one great thing with my job is I can kind of like do the things I want sometimes if that's sociable, but then work at a different time. So like I can just get back later and sit and have an evening. Do you know what I mean? Like a late evening, get into editing and emails and all that kind of stuff. In. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, anyway, I'm glad I'm feeling a little bit warmer now because it's blooming cold. I don't know if I've already mentioned that. Um, but yeah, right, let's go to Dunelm and meet my grandma and mum. Good evening, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. I don't know when I last picked up this vlog now. I feel like it's been a few days, but if I'm honest, there's not an awful lot that's been happening. So I thought I'd wait until the weekend to pick the vlog back up again. We've had a real nice lazy day today. Just one of them cozy days on the sofa, raining outside, put a Christmas film on, followed by footy. <laughs> tonight we're actually off out we've got some festive plans so normally every single year i go to the lincoln christmas market however it's actually been cancelled which makes me so sad because definitely one of my favorite markets even though christmas markets can be a little repetitive and obviously they're the same every year i just feel like with lincoln it's different i just love the city i love the vibe there's so many just different stalls there as well it's just it's a spot on market but it's been cancelled because apparently there's been problems with overcrowding it's getting busier and busier each year so i really wanted to go lincoln i really wanted to do something in lincoln still so i was like right what can we do in lincoln and i actually found that they're doing a cathedral concert so they're doing an orchestra in the cathedral playing loads of christmas kind of like theme tunes from movies um and yeah i just think it'll be so cute something a little bit different i don't think Mitchell's actually ever been to see i don't know how i've ended up here have you ever seen a live orchestra i'm missing bloody villa arsenal tonight Shut off. it'll be so good I'm like the cathedral Charlie. is breathtaking as it is yeah the cathedral's really and i just feel like an orchestra in the cathedral 
the new Christmas music. They're just a bit better. Is so, your mum and dad at your mum and dad? They're going to be across the road. So I've actually invited my mum and dad for the journey. Thought I'd get them in the Christmas festivities as well. Because my dad's normally a bit of a Grinch at Christmas. He doesn't really like doing anything. Do you know what we should have done tonight? What? We should have. 4-0. What? 4 nil. What we should have done tonight is you and your mum should have gone to the cathedral and done all the orchestra and stuff yeah. and then me and your dad should have watched Aston Villa Arsenal nice. three years in the Chinese. Nice. Anyway, so we just about to pick up my mum and dad. We're actually going out into Nottingham Bingham first because there's a really nice Chinese restaurant that we like. So we're going to get some food down us and then yeah, off to Lincoln. And my dad's actually never been to Lincoln either, so I think he's quite looking forward to going. Are they waiting? Here they are. Oh, they're actually Shane waiting. Fa Shane Fan. Here they are. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells right. on the vlog. Hello. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. 4 0 less than I feel. 4 0, and it was 3 just as yeah, Mother D discord, didn't it? Four, yeah, but they were a bit bloody open, I thought, Plymouth. Did you watch it the first time? Yeah, I was watching. Holly hanging across the door. Neighbors singing tales of yore. It's so close, hardly can wait. Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season most everywhere so Okay, so it's the end of the night. I need to be quick so I might get copyrighted with the music on. But I just thought I'd quickly go around the table and get everyone's verdict of the orchestra um, performance at Lincoln Cathedral tonight. Starting with the main man. What did you think? You have to be quick because I'm going to get copyrighted with this music. Muffled. Very good. Don't know. <laughs> and I appreciate it, but I didn't get it. <laughs> I could have watched it in bed. You couldn't have. It, it, I could have. Visually, you couldn't see it because it wasn't tear. You couldn't mm. see the orchestra. You could just see the top of some of the other. You could have seen it. And yeah, it was. It was yeah, the, the seats were rubbish. But it was a small orchestra. I didn't realise it was going to be that small of an orchestra either. Yeah. Well, I didn't. That's obviously the, the only reason I was going to go. I'll have to take you to Hans Zimmer. Oh. No. Please do. Hans Zimmer. Please. Anyway, we were at a um, just out place now. Dad is. Um, Dad. Is. Dad. 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 Dad is not only experiencing his first time in Lincoln, but also his first time at just dessert parlour. And more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to you've been to dessert parlour? You've not. God, you two don't get out enough. We don't. So if I never sat sat in an admin. What? You never go Tinsel Town in Leicester. Oh, yeah. What's that in? Yeah. yeah. That's more of a meal. Good evening, everyone. I'm really sorry for this random outro. I'm currently just sat editing this vlog. And to be fair, I was just kind of vlogging on a couple of days. So I didn't really know how much footage I was going to get and how long I was going to make this vlog. And yeah, as I'm just editing it, I've decided that I just want to keep it a fairly short vlog. I say short, it's still half an hour but yeah i just want to create more like 30 minute vlogs as opposed to hours i know you guys sometimes do love a long watch but i just want to mix it up and have those shorter 30 minute ones too so i just thought i'd come on and just quickly outro the vlog i really really hope you have enjoyed it i do have another vlog that i need to edit after this which was when i went up to manchester not the weekend just gone the weekend before that um i really want to get that video up still because it was really nice I had a girl sleep over my friend georgia so yeah stay tuned for that and for more festive vlogs i'm gonna try and get as many up as i can because i'm well aware now that there's literally i think just less than two weeks of christmas i can't believe how fast it is going i feel like i just need to cram everything in and enjoy the build up because that's always for me the most enjoyable part but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching guys and i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye